Okay, can you write me a list? Okay, we'd like to welcome you to Fabric Chicks Live at noon. Um, let's see. All right. Um, so we'd like to welcome you to Fabric Chicks Live at noon. Um, we have a couple things we're going to go over just because we just got a um, new box of threads from Wonderfill. And I was hoping it'd be here before the Friday sale, but it wasn't. Um, so at this point, we're just rolling with how things go. Um, okay. Hey, Leilani. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Rondi. Um, Leilani, I do have, um, I will get that. I got your message, so I'll get that packaged for you and in today's mail. Um, so let's see, it's kind of, you know, it's Monday morning. We're always discombobulated on Monday. You girls have to whisper because everything you say is on the live Facebook. Um, so we are, um, it's Monday, you know how Monday goes. But I did have one thing that I wanted to show you. If you're in the Fabric Chicks textile art group, um, this month is uh, tropical flowers. And so I just wanted to give you kind of an idea. I came in on Saturday and I quilted a quilt for Lenny, the Dutch quilter. I don't know if you remember her, but she's kind of famous. She does all of the hot ribbon um, artwork and books and all that. So I just quilted this for her. I, op I opened up a bag that she um, had somebody drop off. I don't know, like in January or December and it had I thought it just had one quilt that I was going to be able to just throw on the autopilot. It had five quilts that need to be custom quilted. And I'm going to give you a little hint. Do not beat it or bedazzle it before you take it to your long armor. Um, and no matter how many times I've said this to her, she still sends it to me with all the bedazzling. So I did one time a couple years ago, I hit one of her Savarsky crystals. And it threw my entire machine out of balance for like two or three months before we could figure out what was actually wrong with it. But of course, Lenny is Lenny and you just have to roll with it. So she sends me this one, absolutely gorgeous, already bedazzled. So here it is. I don't know if Roger's zooming in on it, but see how she's got it all bedazzled. So what she did is, this is a fabric. So just kind of an idea, if you don't wanna do a, a big project where you do the applique, you can find a fabric that has tropical flowers in it and fussy cut. So that's all she's done here. Well, it's not all she's done, but she's made bias strips with, um, you know, the sashers that we have that we sold you guys a while ago. This is the perfect time to get them out and use them. So she made bias strips with um, this, I don't know what tool she used, but we have the sashers that would work perfect for making the stems. And then she cut the fabric, used it on, and then she did um, the buttonhole stitch around all the petals. So um, you can see the detail work is incredible. And then she did little hand embroidery there for um, the beads and the stamens and things. So just an idea of something you can do pretty quick. Um, I'm not sure how you guys are going to use fabric magic in this project, but that's kind of the beauty of everybody's imaginations going crazy. You can just do anything you want. I'm okay. Tangled up here. Oh, sorry. Devin, can you come untangle your dad? Okay, let's see. Hi, girls. Gosh, there's so many. Good morning, Vicki from Australia. Um, uh, Mary, Little Best says hello Thank to you, you too. So Hi, Phyllis. Thank you for dinner last night. It was absolutely fabulous. I'm, I ate most of the leftover plate for breakfast this morning. Um, but I promised I, sh I did save a little bit to share with Devin. Um, okay. So if you have any questions about how this is done, um, just let me know. You could do the buttonhole stitch with your machine. Um, it would be great practice to get it perfect because you have to know which way to turn when you do a corner otherwise your your stitch jets the wrong way but after you do a few of the flowers you'll figure out which way to pivot you didn't show the back of the quilt oh roger wants me to show you the back of the quilt i'm not sure why because it's just a piece of fabric 
Yeah, but he probably pretty. likes the back of the fat, the quilt better than the front. Guys are weird like that. Okay. So here's the entire quilt. So it is a great layout. And also I liked how she did the borders where she did a thin line, kind of like I would do a flange because I can't sew straight. And then a black and then a flange and then a black. So it's kind of nice how she bordered that. I like it. Yeah, it turned out really, really nice. So if you bought the sashers, the sashers are perfect for doing the um, stems. Okay, then um, you can see the girls are busy. They're um, getting your orders shipped out. Mm -hmm. I think we're almost we're almost ready to, to um, get them ready for the post office. Except for that, I wanna show you the threads that just came in. So here are, I know Lynn Jenkins, you better be on. Let's see, is Lynn on? Oh, I don't see her, but she wanted the, um, oh, Ann says she likes the back too. Um, good morning, Laura. Okay, so um, Lynn said she wanted to get the threads that Bernadette talked about. She wanted to get them at in the cute little collections. So we have the cute little collections. That way you don't have to pick and choose which ones you want. So this is the Glamour, and it ends up being a 12-weight rayon with a strand of metallic thread. You can run this through your machine, and I do not need to put a metallic needle in. I just use my 9014, but I am going to, here Roger, I'm gonna, while I read it, I'm gonna show you girls what colors your choices are. So here's the Christmas, or here's the Halloween set. So that's spooky. And then um, spooky, this is spooky hollow. This one is playtime. This one is Fun Christmas. And then this one is Simply Elegant. So these are also really good for hand embroidery. So this might be what you want, Peggy. Um, just get those collections. Don't pick and choose. You'll love them. Um, but it says about Glamour, um, it's a 12-weight rayon thread with one strand of metallic woven through it. Available in bold colors, designed to show off glamour, is perfect for adding texture and shimmer. This thicker 12-weight thread is designed to glide smoothly through the eye of your sewing machine needle. Use it to embellish any projects where the thread, color, and stitching are the star. Um, glamour is available in 40 colors. Ideal for embellishment, embroidery, decorative stitching, thread painting, quilting, serger loopers, bobbin work, applique, couching, tassel making, and any other decorative purposes you can think of. Um, she said, it does say that you, um, they recommend using deco bob in your bobbin. Um, and let's see, the recommended needle sizes are 116, 110, 18, or 120, 19 top stitch. So even I learned something today because I didn't even know that we had top stitch needles that were that big. I thought they only went up to 106, 100 slash 16, but we have 110, 18 and 120, 19. But I'm not sure. I'll have to experiment with that because I'm not sure. If you ladies have tried the bigger ones, type it in. Does it leave a big hole in your fabric because it's a bigger needle? Or do you like them? Or I don't know. I've never had a problem with my 9014. It does not shred. But I, everybody's machine is different. And then they do recommend that you slightly loosen your top tension and sew at a moderate speed. So I will say that that is when I have the most trouble with it shredding is because I'm just going too fast and it's hard for it to keep up with me. Um, so that's the little tips and tricks from Wonderfield for today. Um, and then we did get, I know, Anne, you've been waiting for this. These came in for your sunflowers. So right here, I've got orange with glitter, I've got bronze with glitter, and I've got yellow with glitter. So this is the same threads that I just showed you in the collections, except for you can get just these colors if you want them for your sunflower projects. So you can just type in the comments, we'll go back and read them. Um, oh, in case you wanna know, the um, Glamour threads, they're $49.99 for the sets. And then these are $10.95. So it is five times 11. Five times 11 would be 55. So it's a little bit cheaper if you buy the collections, but if you just want these, they're 10.95 a spool. So that is 
and Linda Meyer what you're looking for. So we've got the bronzy color, the orange color, and the yellow color. And then on top of that, I know Anne might need this also um, for the Sunflower Bedazzle project. These are 12 weight cotton threads. So this is the Wonderful Spaghetti. So here it is in kind of a mustardy yellow or pumpkin-y yellow. And then here it is in an orange. So these are 12 weights. They also will run through your sewing machine needle. Um, and then the other thing that you girls were needing was um, uh, one elegant please. Oh, was one of these called elegant? Oh yeah, I got gotcha, you, Diane. I know what you're talking about. Yes, Carolyn. Um, oh, Diana, the bigger needle does leave a larger hole, but have less breakage with the larger needle when fast machine quilting, maybe. FMQ. I'm gonna say fast machine quilting. Um, uh, that's what I thought, Peggy. Um, okay, let's see what else. Um, Diana got her order this morning. That must have been from last week. Because we have, Devin's got a huge pile there. So the, the post office lady, she comes in on Mondays and she always tells us we need to invest in a hand cart to get the packages to her car. But I think that's kind of her job is to pick them up. She should bring a bag or something with her if we have too many packages. I don't think that I... Like you couldn't even, have you guys looked around here? You couldn't even get a hand cart to go through all the stuff. Um, true that, true that, true that. Oh, free, free motion, free motion quilting. Man. Okay, I gotcha. FMQ, you guys, uh, look at even Carolyn knew. Um, okay, perfect. All right, so um, then the other thing that we did have, because Lynn Jenkins, who's not even on today, but she'll be in tomorrow, so I'll have to give her this whole spiel again tomorrow. Um, she wanted the 50 weight threads in the collection sets. So we do have the 50 weight threads. Um, there are eight, eight different colors. So this is the Spectrum. So these are $42 for the box. So this color is Spectrum. This color is, these are 50 weight threads. This is iced pastels. Here, if you guys want, we'll do a special today for watching today. So if you want these collections, we'll do $39.95. So you'll save a couple of dollars. So iced pastels, shaded velvet. This one would be good for landscapes. Forest floor forest floor and sand and sea glass. Um, I'm not sure that fits correctly, but here's what they consider sand and sea glass. I would have just called it neutrals or something, something inventive. Okay. All right, girls, do you have any questions? Right. My son in Santa Rosa wants to know, I totally know Stacy Gunderson. Gracie, so here's a little bit of gossip. Gracie had the biggest crush on Stacy's son, Drew, for like, from like kindergarten to like sixth grade. But now she like won't even make eye contact with him. So I'm pretty sure she probably still has a crush on him, but you know, who knows at this point. But yes, Phyllis, um, the Gundersons live right up by us. Um, okay, let's see. What else? What about, oh, Peggy, what about a special on the Glamour? sets uh okay so the glamour sets today 10 percent off let me see what does that make it what's 10 percent? so 45 dollars on the glamour sets okay girls but somebody typed that in the notes so i remember what i said what lies did i say um but have you used the 12 weight thread with metallic this one the glamour diana the um this is a 12 weight with a thread a thing of uh, metallic wove you know wrapped around it and i use it with my 9014 needle and i don't really have any problems with it shredding um oh she's got a quilt right on that stool waiting for her hey there how are you i'm good how are you good thank you 
Okay, let me see. What other? Oh, Sandy, your quilt did arrive. Um, I haven't opened it up, but I did see that there's a box from you. So I will, um, I'll open it up and check it as soon as we're done here. Um, yeah, that's hers. Yes. Um, okay, let's see. What else do you girls have? You're welcome, Peggy. Um, okay, so um, let's go on a field trip because I don't really have too much for you. I am getting ready for, we have a stabilizer, threads, needles, and more class. Um, well, it's kind of like a lecture this evening from five to six. Um, for those of you who um, kind of want, it's geared more towards the novice. For those of you who kind of think you might want to dabble it more in the art, quilting you might be a more traditional quilter and you have no idea about stabilizers fusibles needles all that it's just a one hour kind of talk about the different supplies that will make your life easier so that's today from five to six um okay so we're gonna go um you, let's see roger's gonna follow me and we're gonna go see he's got a bunch of stuff that just arrived and he has not, um, here, let me get my phone so I can read your comments. He has not um, inventoried it or anything yet. So we're gonna go, um, going to, time to do work on property. Okay, Lynn, we'll see you next week. Um, Carolyn, I will. Um, Diane, I'm sure it's on something that you bought. Okay, how are you? I'm good, how are you? It's tough working, huh? Oh my God, I'm just like stressed, just too many things. I know, always. <laughs> um, it's kind of living life. It's always crazy. I know, I know. Um, okay, let's see what we've got. So, Ro oh dear. So Roger's got, look at all these fun new fabrics that just came in. Are you getting them? Look at this one, girls. Super fun. Oh, and then we've got the um, monkeys. We've got Curious George here, nine bananas. We've got monkeys. Um, gosh, monkey biz more monkey business. So if you need a baby boy quilt, we've got some fun. It's got a boy on it. Oh, sorry. Wait, here. Okay, we got some fun stuff coming up. All right, girls, did you all have a good Easter? Here you go, fun monkey quilt. And then, or if you need banana fabric, some panels. Ooh, look at this. Here's a sneak peek, I'm not gonna open it up, but look at this panel. What? Oh, he's got the glare. Roger's just shaking his head, telling me not to be lazy. But I don't have a, um, I don't have scissors. Okay, hang on girls. No, I don't want to break a nail. That cost you a lot of money to fix it. Anna Simpson, I enjoyed services yesterday. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. It's upside down now. I can't move that. We got so many new fabrics in. Okay, can you girls see it? This one would be a fun baby quilt too, or grown-up quilt. It'd be fun to bedazzle and add texture to all the animals. That one's a super fun one. I see lots of possibilities with that. Okay, let's see. What else do we got in here? Roger's got like a treasure trove of stuff. Roger, Roger can't keep up. Oh, we've got two new boxes too that just came at three that just got delivered. So we got lots of fun new stuff, girls. So I'm gonna go so we can get it ready for Friday's sale. But if you have any questions, oops, do we have any comments that I need to respond to? Let me see. Um, all right, Roger. Do you have any comments? Uh, I can't find today's show. Crater says she loves the panel. Phyllis Holmes, we had a fun Easter with some great friends. Oh, thank you for inviting us. We enjoyed ourselves. And we've got lots more liquor to drink, so we'll have to have a party at one of our houses. Mary Vitti says fun. Christy Lee says so cute panel. And Linda Meyer says, I want the elegant and bright colors. Okay. Uh, 
Diane Sable loves the color. Dorothy Reed. Oh, Ooh, what? color for animals. Lynn, you'll have to go back and watch because I bought you all those coordinating sets so you wouldn't have to think about what you want to order. Rhonda, and then we'll see you tomorrow. Rhonda Reed says, kennel so cute. I know, we're going to have to get a lot of new samples made so that we can inspire Sue you. Sue Crater what says, else do we color get? for animals, beautiful. Lynn Jenkins, I'm late. I'll watch it in a minute. Okay. <laughs> uh, Diane Hensley, I'll go back and look at the threads, but I... Uh, Still haven't gotten my trash to treasure pack. What? Uh, let me check on that, Diana. Oh, okay. Uh, and then Lynn Jenkins says she'll see you tonight on Zoom. Okay. Yes, I'm going to send you a link, Lynn. As soon as we're done here, I'm going to see who's registered, and I'm going to send a link for this evening. So if you have nothing better to do, it's $5, and you can be entertained even more by us. And then Lynn Wendell says, uh, Beth signed up for classes at Reno. I will be there Tuesday through Saturday to help. Perfect, help me too. Or whatever you need. Okay. And then Ann Lindemar wants to know what Zoom is tonight. Um, if, Ann, you don't really need today's Zoom, um, but I might send you the link so that you could help me teach it. Cause you know, I like to throw you under the bus like that. Um, we're just gonna be talking about threads and stabilizers and needles and why you would use different things to kind of help people who wanna venture into a little bit more artsy stuff, not so much traditional piecing, um, but why you would need like um, Shape Flex 101, why you would want wash away, why you would want tear away, why you would want all the different stabilize, all the different stuff that's available to us that we don't even know exists until we play with it. So that's kind of what today's um, class is about. It's really kind of a lecture. It's only one hour. Um, so that's it. Okay. Cindy Cole, he wants to know, can she sign up tonight? Yes. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Judy Baxter says sign her up for tonight. Okay. I'll go through this right now, girls, Mayor and Beattie read it. wants to know the class time. Five to six. Okay. All right, I think we've answered all your questions. I'll go through and rewatch this so I can get all the threads in your bright boxes and all that good stuff. And then um, on Wednesday, we have a special guest. We have um, Roxy and Joe from Thimble Creek. Um, you will love them. They are the most adorable couple you've ever met, um, ever. Super fun, um, super creative. They owned um, Thimble Creek in, it used to be a quilt shop in Walnut Creek till they, I think that their rent like quadrupled or something. And so now they're a home-based business, but um, they'll tell us all about it, I'm sure on Wednesday. So be sure to set your clocks for Wednesday and then our Friday celebration on Friday. All right, girls, we'll see you um, later. Thank you. Bye. Let me know if you need anything.